Welcome to the Canada Science and Technology Museum in Ottawa, Ontario, in our artifact storage facility. Hi, my name is Michel. I'm an educator here at the museum, and I'd like to talk to you about sundials. Before the invention of clocks and watches, sundials were used to tell time. In fact, sundials were used in Egypt more than 3,500 years ago. They consisted of a simple stick pushed into the ground, which cast a shadow onto a dial. To mark the passing of the hours, sundial faces were divided into equal parts. The earliest surviving sundial with hour markings date back 1,500 years before the present era. Some of these sundials used tall stone obelisk to serve as a center stick, or gnomon. Still, there was no standard number of markings, so the length of an hour was not the same on every sundial. As sundials became more common, the gnomon became shorter and eventually pointed to the north, rather than straight up. When the length of a day was officially standardized at 12 hours, sundial faces were divided into 12 equal parts. These 12 parts marked the hours from sunrise to sunset. This sundial is a typical example. It is made to sit flat and has a gnomon that, when properly installed, points to what astronomers call the North Celestial Pole the point in the sky directly above the Earth's North Pole. This sundial was made over 100 years ago for a member of Parliament, W. Patterson, who lived in Ottawa and later became a senator. The dial was designed by Otto Klotz, an astronomer who worked at the Dominion Observatory. This sundial, made by Pritchard and Andrews, a company from Ottawa, can read to an accuracy of five minutes. There are an amazing number of different sundial types. People built sundials to sit flat on the ground, fit flat against walls, or even to be portable like this tiny ring dial. To use this sundial, you need to hold it vertically so that it is pointing towards the north. Sunlight passes through a tiny hole in the side, shining on a scale printed inside the ring to mark the time. To learn more about sundials, visit the Canada Science and Technology Museum. <laughs>